In this video, I'll be showing you how to book a job. You would use this when the office isn't available to book you a job and you're on call. If you notice right underneath your profile icon, there's the two words book job. Let's click on that. Now let's say that you're on call and you just got a call from a restaurant called Satay. So you enter their name here and let's do a search. If you notice multiple locations come up, I don't see it at first glance, but you can always refine the search by putting in additional details like a street. Now they told us that the address is 1407 North Orange Avenue. So it looks like they're not a current customer. So in this case, we would go to the Add New tab. This is where you would enter the name of the restaurant. Now, on this call, they didn't give me a store number. Maybe it's a, just a one location restaurant, but also try to ask them for that when they call in. Now, for the street address, we would enter the street address they gave us, 1407 Orange Avenue. And then I usually just put the state in, and then if you have the zip code, enter that. They said it's 32804. And then if you hit this little map icon here, it gives you some options. So we know I should have hit north. They told me north. So there you would select the correct address. And then also a phone number. And the memo you can enter what type of phone is it? Is it a landline? Is it the work line? cell phone, home phone, and then select the customer type. Now we know this is a commercial account, so we would select that. This field you would use if it's a property management company or if they have a bit different billing address than the location you're going to. For this case, we're gonna use customers the same as the tenant. But you can also use this one if you need to enter another address for billing details. If you notice at the top, it'll say who will be paying for the job. So that is where you select all the billing details. Okay, we're gonna select next. Verify the information's correct. And then here, you're gonna select what kind of job you're gonna be doing. Let's do a popular one like clogged drain. Ask them how they heard about us. Was it Google? Was it, did they see one of our billboards? TV commercial, etc. So I'm gonna use Google AdWords plumbing. And then this is where you're gonna enter a start time. So I'm gonna put 10 p.m. because you're on call. And then this will be the end of the window. So say you, you told the customer you'd be there between 10 and two. So. because we need to be in the next day here. And then click out of that window. And then this would be your actual start time. 
when you think are gonna get there. So let's say, Eleven thirty PM. This is where you type a summary of what the job is for. So the customer said it was a clogged floor drain and a kitchen. Something just short and sweet. Here at the top left, you can select this option if you want the customer to get a booking confirmation. In this example, we're gonna leave it off and select book. Now, if you notice the job has been created, you have your arrival window and all the details that we've entered before. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.